I spend a lot of my time over there machining and engineering the biggest news stories of the day into the finely tuned Ferrari that is my monologue. <laughs> but sometimes I like to drag out the rusted chassis of an abandoned pickup, bolt on some busted out headlights, a discarded snow plow, and some repurposed flamethrowers to make the post apocalyptic death buggy of news that is my segment. <laughs> It cures what ails you. Cures what ails you. <laughs> Meanwhile, a massive fire broke out on Tuesday at an Australian cattle breeding lab, destroying around 100 cryogenic cylinders used to store cattle semen <laughs> and causing a massive <laughs> semen explosion. <laughs> Which, by the way, was the working title for the Expendables. <laughs> It seems, according to locals, it seemed the semen inside the cylinders was rapidly expanding. <laughs> and essentially, the lids of the cryogenic cylinders were just popping off from the top, and projectiles were being thrown from the building. <laughs> Bull semen projectiles. <laughs> so look out nine months when all the ovulating women in the area gave birth to minotaurs. He's somebody's little boy. He's somebody's little boy. Wow. Half boy. Half boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, the U.S. Navy has confirmed the existence of unidentified flying objects. <laughs> this, yes, I agree, one clapper. This <laughs> is massive news that could shatter our entire conception of the universe and our place in it, which is why I'm covering it in minute 23 of my show right after the bull semen story. <laughs> And the Navy is reacting to the leaking of several videos from aboard Navy fighters capturing the objects. Here's one of them. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Look at that thing, dude. I don't want to hear steely-eyed fighter pilots that confused. <laughs> That's like hearing your surgeon say, ooh, this guy's all wet inside. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> the Navy was forced to address the footage after it was released by a UFO investigative group called To the Stars Academy of Arts and Science, which was founded by former Blink-182 guitarist Tom DeLong, which might seem weird, but DeLong is just one of many 90s musicians doing trailblazing exploration of the paranormal. We were all indebted to the vigilance of the brave men and women over at the Spin Doctors Chupacabra Task Force. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Meanwhile, this week, Merriam-Webster announced its new additions for 2019, which has more than 530 new words, including vacay, a shortening of vacation, wow. sesh, a shortening of session, and inspo, a shortening of inspiration. <laughs> because the Merriam-Webster dictionary is now being written, evidently, by a coked-up Miami real estate agent. <laughs> yeah. It's a great spot. It's a great spot for a vacay. Just a uh, short sesh, obviously. Decorate according to your own, your own inspo. I take a small commission. Small commission. I mean, anyway, that's the sish. Acceptable to talk this way now, okay? It says so right in the dick, right there, okay? <laughs> Woo! I gotta hit the head. I'll be right back. You guys wanna start a software company? I just bought a boat! Woo!